All right, second grade. So this is making your um, loom. So you can see I have my orange paper because I did my strips out of my blue paper. If you did your strips out of your orange, then you would have your blue paper in front of you. Um, you're saving the black. Do not use the black. Um, but you have your paper the tall way in front of you. And I grab it with my thumbs on the um, bottom and my other fingers on top. And what I'm gonna do is bring it up. And now I match the corners up on top and the bottom, okay? I hold it down and then I kind of spider crawl towards the center. I leave one of my uh, hands on and then the other hand comes off and then I run my hand down to the fold and I go out one direction, bring that hand up and I go out the other direction. So with this video, you can pause at any time. Um, this would be a good time to pause and then fold it in half like a book. Um, and this is really, really, really important um, to listen to all the directions. So pause, get it folded, and then we're gonna go step by step. Okay, so next we have a book, right? Um, and with that book, it opens on one side, the other side is a fold, all right? We need to be looking for the open side, all right? Now that open side, this is where we're gonna put the ruler down, all right? Not on the fold side, we need to be on the open side. So see how this opens? We wanna be on the open side. So now that we're on the open side, I'm gonna move my ruler so that it matches the edge of the paper, okay? And now we are going to grab our pencil. Sorry, I can't take the root or the marker top off. Um, I'm gonna grab our pencil and we're going to draw a line down. Now, once you have that line drawn, you have to make sure that it's on the open side. If it's on the folded side, then you need to erase it and do it on the open side. This whole thing is not going to work out if you do it on the other side, okay? And since you only have one piece of paper, you got to do it right, all right? So please check that you did it on the open side. All right, now what we do is we turn it so that that is up on the top, all right? Um, if you were at school, I would make you write your name since you're probably the only person in your household that's doing this right now. Um, I don't think you need to write your name. Just know that um, this line and this skinny section needs to be up on the top. All right. Once again, I am on um, my right side because I am left-handed. So that's another thing. If you were doing this line up here, you'll notice that I turned it to this side. All right. If you were right-handed and you did this exact same thing, it was probably hard. So you had to find the open side and you wanna turn it so that it, the open side is on the right side of the paper or on the right side so that when you make your line, it's easier, All right? So now once again, the open side is up here, the folded side is here. And what we're going to do is you're gonna start on the right side if you're left-handed or the left side if you're right-handed. We match it up to the edge of the paper. We start on the line this time, not at the top of the paper. We start on the line and you'll notice I'm holding the ruler down in what I think is the middle and I make a line that is the thickness of the ruler. Now we should be getting pretty good at this because we just had to do that whole sheet but again, if you're struggling or you didn't do the other sheet with all your strips very well, please ask an adult to kind of help you out. Um, if you were in my classroom, I would be helping you as well. So um, don't be afraid to ask an adult for a little bit of help. So I hold it down. I move it so that it matches up with that line. Once I get there, I start at that line again and I come down. Okay. Each one of these lines is the thickness of the ruler. Right. Each one of these lines starts at that horizontal line. All right. Now I'm going to do the rest of these. 
Again, matching up every time with the line that you just drew. And you always got to check the top and the bottom. Are you matched up at the top? Are you matched up at the bottom? If you are, then make the line. If you're not, a lot of times people make crooked lines because they only check the top, but they don't check the bottom. And then they end up with crooked line. Now, this is also really important. If I move my ruler right here, you'll notice that I have enough room to make one more line, but this is too skinny. Okay? So if you have this, don't make that line, all right? And the reason being is that that line for everyone, because it's so skinny, you could cut off the edge and then you'd have a big mistake. So I'd rather you have a really thick end section. So if you're gonna make a line and it's that skinny, don't do it, okay? So that's where I'm gonna stop with the ruler. And now the last step, everyone, again, pause it. Um, if you need to draw your lines. But the last step is cutting. So now what we're going to do is I always start on the side that has my scissors or is my scissor hand, right? So I cut with my right hand. I start on the right side. Again, we went over that with the strips, but good reminder, right? My thumb is on top with both the scissors and the hand holding the paper, and I am going to cut all the way up, Okay. And when I get to that line that goes horizontal, I like to um, match it up with the tip of my scissors. And that way, all I got to do is close. All right. Think of that line as that stop sign. You don't want to go past it. Okay. But you also don't want to stop right here. Okay. You got to get all the way up to that line. So that's where I like to match up my scissors tip. And that way, I just have to close all the way. And I'm right on that line. Okay, so I'm going to cut the rest of this. So when I'm all done, I have weaving that looks like this. Again, our line was up on the open side. So that means that our whole thing is all connected still because of the fold. Um, and then you're going to save this, which is your loom, and all of your strips of paper for the following class. All right. So... Um, Please finish your loom, finish your strips, and be ready to go for the weaving um, the next class. Good luck.